Oh, shalom and God richly bless you. It is recording. I didn't know. Well, I thought this is a live broadcast. And then so I wanted to share a word with you, my dear brother, Ross sister. And it is, it, it says destiny must prevail. Can you say it with me? Destiny must prevail. Can you say it with me? Second May. That is good news for the beginning of the month of May. Happy New Month. It is the fifth month, a number of grace, a number of favor, a number of divine accessibility, not by the strength of man, but by the strength of God. And it says, destiny must prevail. Why? Destiny is prevailing for Israel. Israel, Israel is a miracle. The nation of Israel celebrating 69 years is prophecy fulfilled. And it is a type to tell you and I that whatever promise, whatever prophecy God has programmed, spoken, ordained, decreed over us shall be fulfilled. Destiny must prevail. The word of the Lord came to me expressly this morning from Hosea chapter 12 verse 4 and he said, And Jacob struggled with men and pre he prevailed with God. Jacob was a son of destiny. Destiny was upon him. God has pronounced him that he was going to be great. He was going to be blessed. He was go the one that was going to carry the Abrahamic mandate. Yet this boy they didn't have it easy at all. The Bible says that his struggle began from the womb of his mother. All through life, he had to struggle to be who God, what had made him to be. It is not a struggle that he's forcing to be what he wants. But it was divinity that was enabling him to break through. He comes from the descendant who broke through all his life. Those that have been charged to fulfill destiny had to fight. I have come to tell you, fight. Fight for your destiny. Fight for your children. Fight for your loved one. Fight for your job. Fight for your husband. Fight for the position and place God has given you. Don't fight with the scheme of men. Don't fight with wickedness, with sorcery. Don't fight with evil powers. Fight with the hand of God. The Bible says that the hand of the Lord will make your hand mighty. He will teach your hands to war. So Bible says in Isaiah chapter 12 verse 4, and Jacob prevailed. And when he prevailed, Bible says, he made supplication unto God and his request was what? Affected. There is another man called Jabez. Bible says, because it's concerning to, it's concerns to his destiny, he made request with God and he did what he prevailed. If you would contend with God, if you would stand on his, oh, by his face, if you would stand before him and ask him to plead your cause, to help you to make what he has called you to be, to be, God would help you to fulfill destiny. He is a destiny maker. Contend for your destiny. Contend through prayer. It doesn't matter what hurdles that come your way. You will prevail. Your destiny will prevail. Destiny has to do with faith. Pray destination. What God has spoken over you, it shall come to pass. God bless you.